Hi guys, it's Monday, so it's time for a Gorka Morka update. Right then, so to start off, I wanted to show you these guys. Now I've been working on the sand colour here. I've been informed recently that uh, the colour I used as the base for the bottoms on here with the airbrush was actually a greeny yellow, <laughs> which I was thought just was just a pale yellow. So I went out and I got these two colours here. We've got sand yellow and desert yellow. And I've had a go at using them to sort of make the bottom of these a little bit more desert coloured rather than green. Um, and this is the progress here. Probably needs a bit more work, but I need to check with somebody who isn't colourblind to try and figure out if I've done enough on them. So we'll move those to one side. As part of that, I've actually taken to making these look a little bit more weathered. So this is my big truck. It needs more work on the, the engines and the silver bits to make them look a little bit more sooty and, and used. But I've come in and I've hit all these parts here with the... Um, with those two colours through the airbrush and try to make it look a little bit more deserty in there as well and that leads me nicely onto this now last time you saw this little buggy which is the main feature of this video really the main reason for making it is probably just white so i primed it black i've dry brushed it washed it dry brushed it some more and got it into this state so i'm going to take off all the stuff that comes off that the gun driver of course needs painting uh, I need to buy a few more through the vehicles because they are driverless at the moment, <laughs> which needs sorting. Um, so this is what it looks like in its basic form. So I've hit the wheels, a little bit on the wheel arches, of course this top bit here, because that's where an orc stands. Uh, a little bit has gone through to the engine, I've cleaned that up a little bit. And of course the bottom there, so that's looking a lot more like it's uh, sandy. Had to come back in and retouch a little bit of the blue because it got us slightly overwhelmed by the um, by the sand colour. And then I was looking at it and I was thinking something doesn't quite look right. And if you know weathering or how sandy vehicles look, how vehicles that have been dusted with sand look, the bits that are actually uh, in a lot of friction with sand keep their original colour and it just sits in the recesses. So on the top here i've uh, dry brushed the silver back on to make it look like the edges have had the sand brushed off but the the flat pieces have kept the dust on and on the wheels i've given them a black dry brush and i think that's really brought out the idea here as you can see that the uh, the paint is wearing off it's also brought out the detailing on the side of these wheels i absolutely love this patch here and these scuff marks that's the same on both sides the patch there and the scuff marks looks really nice uh, these bits here have come out quite nice, so these are silver, and then they had the uh, the wash, and then they also had this <laughs> the, uh, the sand colour sprayed all over them. So I brought them back up with a silver dry brush, same for the hubs in there as well, and they've come out really nice. I am really chuffed with the way that looks, of course there's much work left to do. So I'm looking really good in terms of my next New Year painting challenge, which in which I said I was going to try and finish off all of my Gorka Morka stuff. Um, so I've been working on, if you watched my previous video, I've been working on the fort, got a lot of the fort done, again look back in my video or I'll put a video card up there to go and have a look at the fort, I'm working on the windmill for that, I've been working on all these little bits of scatter terrain and now I've turned my attention and almost very nearly finished the vehicles I've been working on, it's just little bits and bobs. In to basically show you what's left, I'm going to bring out the gubbins and the weapons. So these weapons here are basically these are the uh, big shooters that I sort of primed and uh, dry brushed silver because I wanted to get them done really quickly for some pictures I was taking. They need a, a rework. They're not uh, they're not fantastic. It's also done with um, a Vallejo silver that I'm not keen on. It's a much more sort of I don't know, just not a big fan of it, so I'm going to repaint those with the uh, GW or Citadel one. Same goes for this one here. They also need some proper weathering, uh, maybe some dust. And we've got the gubbins here. Of course, ugh, as you know, the gubbins all sit on the back of the two bigger trucks that I've got, rather than the small one. And they sit like that, magnetised into the edges there. We've also got a wrecking ball. The wrecking ball I used uh, to test the paintbrush, when I, the paintbrush, the airbrush when I first got it. That's why it's got all these strange colours on it. 
trying to do that through the camera is quite tricky. And that sticks on there. So these are the, the gubbins that you can attach to your vehicles as part of the rules of uh, Gorkamorka. I'll just put those to one side. Then we've got the universal weapons mounting that I've got going on that's, that works on both both of these. And this here is a harpoon gun. As you can see, needs a lot of paintwork and sorting out. That can fit on there. And we've got the spear gun. Again, needs a lot of work to finish. And that can go on there. And then I've got these two sort of stub-nosed rocket launchers. Again, you can see there's the white showing through all over this. So this needs a lot of work doing to it. Because it's sprayed black, it's not coming out great on the camera. So I can't really show you much of the detail, but that is going to look really nice once it's painted. And I've got two of these guys to do. A little handle on the back there. So those are going to look pretty cool. And that's, I think, all I've got to do. So we've got the different weapons, that fella, and then the gubbins, uh, along with a few little finishing touches on the vehicles and the scenery. As you can see, the bulbs aren't done in there. And yeah i think we're good to go i i'm really happy with the progress i've been getting going on and i think the progress is all thanks to the good old airbrush <laughs> it's really reinvigorated my uh my passion for painting and getting things done especially on the scenery front if i hadn't bought that that uh airbrush i would not have finished the fort bits that i'd made um which i'm really happy about because they were looking at me day after day those little fort bits and i was <laughs> Getting a bit bit more worked up every day that I hadn't got them done. Yeah, so I think that's everything I wanted to cover. Got a lot more to do in the coming months, as you can see. Um, I'm also planning on getting a video up of the fort as it stands now. And uh, now that I've got the better setup, maybe move the cameras over to the table and see if we can get it uh, get a proper look at it. Um, hopefully, get that up for next week. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. If you wanna, if you wanna see what that's like, and check out, like I said earlier, my video, my uh, video backlog to see what the fort looks like, because it's one of my um, most favourite creations in terms of the hobby. Right then, I think I've covered everything I wanted to. So thank you very much for watching. You can keep up with me in between videos on these over here. Thank you. Uh, stay well, guys, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.